So I hear, the rumor is, you're the first guy to ever take an elk with a six arc. I'm pretty sure that's 100% true. Right on, I can't wait to hear all of that. All right, it's awesome. For security, for life. Stag Arms. Okay, so we're coming out with our six arc here, and a uh, really cool gun, a lot of cool features, very capable gun. Um, but I have Nephi here with me who has some real world hunting experience with this thing recently. And um, we'd like to, for him to tell us about one of your funnest yeah, hunting awesome. trips ever. It's one of the funnest hunting years I've had. So I just had the opportunity, um, you guys need somebody to take one in the field and I just volunteered. So, uh, you know, the uh, I don't work for Stag and, and uh, not sponsored by Stag. This was just a, you know, a, a You're just that, a lucky guy. I was just a lucky guy and honestly, super fun. Yeah. So I took this out with me when I went out to do an elk hunt this year. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only guy who's ever shot an elk with a six arc. And so it performed flawlessly on a cow elk in, the, in a secret hunting spot in Wyoming, which you guys <laughs> don't need to know about because it's too good. But it was super, super fun. I was with my mm -hmm. our mutual friend, Cody Arnold. Mm -hmm. So Cody was getting distances for me. And so uh, Cody lazed it for me. Uh, got it dialed it to uh, 175 mm -hmm. and it, you know one shot single shot and absolutely dropped her uh, as efficiently as you possibly could with any cartridge mm -hmm. and I was super impressed um, and just really loved everything about the gun from there I took it on a hunt where I did uh, where we, we did some hunting for deer mm -hmm. and took multiple additional deer with the gun of course one buck and then we had additional doe fawn tags that we mm -hmm. used um, for a culling operation and the gun uh, the gun and cartridge combination I got to tell you honestly it couldn't have been better like I was super impressed with the amount of power it had the trajectory is simply awesome in terms of being able to deliver a bullet into you know a target the size of a baseball any place you wanted mm -hmm. it you know out to you know we shot out to 650 yards with the gun but all of our um, all the deer I took were within 300 yards but just mm -hmm. incredible performance I was super impressed okay well so this is the actual gun that he yep. went he took hunting um, and I'm gonna have you explain a little bit about the actual gun now and some of the yeah. so, and some of the parts on the gun. So um, when I had the opportunity to, opportunity to take it out, I did a few things that personalized the way I like to, to take a gun out. So I put my suppressor on it. This is a Wyoming Arms suppressor. It's a titanium suppressor. It's four inches long. It weighs four ounces. I think that's a perfect fit for an AR for, for me. Yeah, because it's just so light. Um, and then with the smaller suppressor, you get less back pressure. So at the shooter's ear, right behind the gun in the open air, it's actually a lot, it's really quiet. It's Which really, is also good being that it's a gas gun. You yeah, it's great. You that. don't have a lot of gas pushing back through mm -hmm. the system. Um, I really, really like that suppressor. And so um, I also use, this is my optic. It's a Vortex Razor LHT 3 to 15. I think it's one of the best hunting optics on the market. It's very, very light. It has the right magnification range to work whether you're in tight timber or if you need to stretch out and do kind of a longer shot this optic covers it it's got you know a, a light of lighted dot in it and then the other thing i really like and i think six arc is like the perfect cartridge for this is it's got the adjustable turret on it mm -hmm. and so i've hunted deer and stuff with blackout and and the thing with the six arc is it gives you the ability to really stretch out there mm -hmm. because the ballistics are so good the high bc bullets and with this optic I can laser target and I can dial to the exact uh, range of that target mm -hmm. Then I can put the crosshairs right on the exact spot on the animal where I need to make the shot and then place that bullet exactly where it needs to be for one shot that anchors the animal right there. And the six arc did it. I was yep. really it impressed. It makes it easy. It was awesome. Yep. Um, and, and, and that's that's the thing that I love about about this platform, the six arc. It's uh, we're able to put it in uh, our stag 15 platform, which is nice and lightweight but it carries the punch of a 308, really. It's actually outperformed a 308, which is why the round was designed in the first place. Uh, there was a Department of Defense entity that wanted um, a new multi-purpose round to, basically they wanted their cake and they wanted to 
as yeah. well. And so they wanted it lightweight like a like an M16 or, or the M4, but they needed that long range uh, and terminal ballistics of say some uh, of like the 308. 308's a lot heavier. I I'm, hunt with a lot of gas guns, and I've hunted with you know elk with 308s, 6.5 Creeds, um, deer with 223s, blackouts, and now the six arc. And it really uh, it's really unique. Uh, tweener between those cartridges and there are mm -hmm. situations where I can say like yeah hand me the 308 um, but um, at the ranges that we were hunting at this year and the type of terrain that we were in mm -hmm. where you could expect those um, you know the elk was 175 yards that's about the end where you have enough foot pounds mm -hmm. and you have about 1500 foot pounds of energy to ethically do that mm -hmm. um, it, it's right at the, the verge but when you talk about a gun that can do all those things um, in such <clears> a a small package and that was the thing that was really fun about it is that you had such a light gun mm -hmm. such a handy package with such a, a, a easy to use manual of arms um, it really was just it made for a fun year and i wish i wish so bad that i had this gun when i was in the military because that's one of the things that we were always back and forth on when i was in iraq we would typically carry the in uh, the m4 uh a, a 10 and a half inch barrel m4 worked great because it's more urban and we went back over to afghanistan and i, I didn't want to do it but I had to increase the, the range and distance in which, because most of our, our contact was now out further. Um, so I had to carry on my 30 away, which was the K model, which is a 14 and a half inch barrel. Very heavy, cumbersome, but this sucker here, it handles that, right? So- Well, it's so, it's so light. It's so handy, again, mm -hmm. with like the short can, the short suppressor on it. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was just a fun year, so. Yeah, well, so the gun, this exact, this is the exact gun that Nephi was using. This is our six arc with the 18 inch barrel. Uh, all our barrels are one in seven twist, stainless steel, um, and they are bead, bead blasted, so they don't have that, that shiny look to them. Um, this is the eight, the 18 inch barrel, so it has a rifle length gas system. Uh, we will be having a 20 inch barrel soon. It will also have a rifle length gas, gas system. Our 16 inch barrel here has a mid length gas system. Same twist, same uh, same sta stainless steel barrel. Also, as Nevi was saying, the trigger is very nice. All of our six arts will have the same two stage trigger, which as he can attest to, is nice and crisp and predictable. It's a very nice trigger, which, you know, really when you're talking about a six arc, um, because the round is in, uh, inherently accurate and you can get a lot out of this gun, you wanna have as much on this, on this weapon platform uh, uh, as you can that will make this, uh, or to milk it all out of it, right? Yeah. You don't wanna leave anything on the table, which is why we put this very good trigger in here. Yeah, the potential's there in order to get to, in order to realize the potential, you have to have all the pieces uh, set up right. And again, um, I really, really was impressed with the job you guys did on it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, another thing that all our all our uh, six arcs, our covenants are going to have is the uh, DZ6 Gamma 65 muzzle brake, which again, if you want to talk about getting the most out of this round, out of this platform, you want to have a very good muzzle brake so you're able to get back on target quicker okay because it's already a lighter shooting gun so yeah. you, you know you put on you put a, a very nice muzzle brake on there now it's you know extremely nice shooting and you're, again you're just you're, you're you're maximizing the capabilities of this round in this platform yeah hunting big game with an ar just makes a ton of sense i think there's a stigma to it that people haven't realized just how good they are for big game they're absolutely awesome they're awesome because they deliver enough firepower to get the job done but they also allow you to really be comfortable behind the gun the ar is a really intuitive platform it's very easy to teach it's not intimidating because especially with the suppressor on it the the uh, the, the the recoil is extremely manageable this gun doesn't mm -hmm. recoil at all um, they're quiet you can put like literally put my 11 year old behind this gun and he can just shoot it all day long and not hate it and mm -hmm. and when you shoot big magnum you know there's a place for <laughs> magnums um, for most hunting applications, you don't need that much firepower. You can really get it done with a gun that's a little more delicate, with a gun that is a little more uh, user-friendly and surgical. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, your model here, the 18-inch model and the 20-inch model, that is coming very soon. We're going to have the adjustable PRS stock, which, again, uh, for hunting, I personally, I think it's a little bit heavy, although this gun is not heavy at all. Yeah. Uh, but if I had to split frog hairs, uh, me personally, I'd want something a little bit lighter. However, 
with a six arc and having that that 18 inch barrel and 20 inch barrel getting the most out of the velocity out of that round having this nice stock on here uh, it just makes it a pleasure to shoot so not only for hunting but also for prs or competition is also very nice as well uh, on our 16 inch model uh, it's going to be the same the same trigger the same barrel same everything except for as i mentioned before a mid-length gas system and it's going to be a non-adjustable stock um, but other than that it's going to have the same awesome two stage trigger um, very lightweight awesome gun here so this right here is also going to be i'm sure used in the future for a lot of self-defense application as well because it's lightweight you can get in, in and out of the house in and out of cars but packs a punch yeah Something i think that's nice. the unique thing about ars it's literally the most versatile platform you can possibly buy because you can use it literally for everything yep it's america's gun it's an awesome gun and this and with this round it's going to make it even more versatile because not only like i said before it's good for self-defense hunting and competition um it just takes it's lightweight now so it's yeah. in the, the perfect little package so no you let me know like i was using one of my magpul mags out in the field you guys have a mag that's specific for six arc absolutely um the magpul mag that i was using they work great as long as you know for hunting application i'm running four rounds i'm running five rounds mm -hmm. um the magpul mags have a little bit thicker wall and so this is a thicker than a 5.56 five, cartridge. They're a little mm -hmm. bit fatter. Mm -hmm. And so um, you have to really watch how many you put in a magazine so that they line up correctly. I know with the six arc mag, you don't have issues with that. Um, so just a note. Yep, so all our six arc covenants will come with a six arc specific magazine. Yeah, great mag. I was using a Magpul magazine in the field. Um, the Magpul mag is a little bit fatter sidewalls and the Palmer, they don't line up quite as well. Um, but for a hunting application, where you're only running like five rounds, maybe six rounds sometimes. This, is, this works great. Um, I think your mags are amazing. I wish I would have taken one of these with me, Scott. Well, maybe one day uh, you'll have a gun like this. Well, don't sell this one. I'm gonna go break open a piggy bank. Well, I don't blame you. I'm gonna have to break, break mine too as well. Um, also for the lefty mafia out there, uh, you will be happy to know that this gun will also be offered in a left version as well. If you would like to check out the exact rifle that Nephi used on his hunt to kill the very first elk ever and other models like our 16 inch model and soon to come 20 inch model, go to stagarms.com and check us out on social media and YouTube at Stag Arms.